Welcome to the first video of the GastroPlus 9.7 tutorial. My name is Maxim Lomerdi and I will be your instructor for today. In this video, I will introduce the software. The goal of this video is to present GastroPlus 9.7 user interface using a demo database. However, before jumping into the interface, let's discuss about the file organization about a typical GastroPlus project. GastroPlus is composed of multiple files organized as such. First, you have the database at the top that contains all of your project information and it can be accessed on the file menu of the software. Within this database, you can create multiple records that will represent a specific study. For example, in that case, you have the record number one for a rat study that received 2.5 milligrams of an immediate release solution of a specific API. And the record number two, that is for a human at five milligrams for a capsule immediate release. And you can create as many records as you want. Within each individual record here, you have a number of support files that can be created to integrate either measure preclinical or clinical PK data, particle size distribution, as well as many others in vitro measurement. In the next videos of this tutorial, we will describe how to create a database, how to create a record, and how to import these support files into the platform. Now, let's have a look at the Gasol Plus user interface. Here on the screen, you can see the Gasol Plus user interface. It is divided in five types at the bottoms that are accessible by simply clicking on them. These five types are compound, gut physiology, pharmacokinetics, simulation, and graph. In the remaining of this video, we will go through each individual tabs and present them. When you open the software, by default, a demo database is loaded. This database contains nine records, and you have different ways to navigate through this record. You can either go to the next records by clicking on this arrow, and here you can see that we went from metoprolol to propanolol. You can go to the very last record by clicking on the second arrow. Now we're on the peroxicam, and you can do the same going back. So let's go back to the very first record by clicking on this arrow. You can also look at all of your records listed and select any one you may be interested. Let's stick to propanolol during this, this demonstration. Now, let's focus on the compound tab. First, you can see that the molecular structures is presented here on the left. On this tab, you will enter all of the information relative to the physical chemical properties of the API, such as molecular weight, log D, PKs. You will also enter all of the in vitro information for solubility versus pH, in vitro and transporter enzyme measured. Um, integration of these parameters into the software will be presented in the following videos. This compound tab also integrates information about the dosage form with the administration schedules containing the initial dose and the subsequent doses, if any. And finally, this tab also includes the intestinal permeability value on the right that is used during the simulation. However, GastroPlus also integrates multiple other options for dissolution absorption model settings, and those will be discussed in subsequent videos. 
The second tab, gut physiology, is where you will define the gut physiologies for your simulation. Multiple default physiology options are proposed in the software for either human or preclinical species in different states, whether they are fasted or fed. A user can also create numerous different physiologies and save them in its own database. To access these physiologies, simply click here on the menu and you can select the different physiologies, whether you're doing a study in human, beagle, monkey, or other preclinical species. Let's stick to human fasted as it was the physiology of the subject used for propanolol in this clinical trial. The third tab is called pharmacokinetics, is where you will define the structural model that describes both the distribution and the elimination of the API. Two options are available. You can either use a compartmental model that is composed of one, two, or three compartments that are not linked to any physical values. And these parameters here on the software are usually calibrated based on IV data for either preclinical or human um, administration. The other option is to use a physiologically based pharmacokinetic model that contains all of this information of age, gender, and others to define the distribution and elimination model. To access these uh, different options of modeling, you can select on this arrow. And here you can see compartment on the top and the default human American male of 30 years old, 70 kilograms PPK model. However, GastroPlus also allows you to create a new PPK model that includes a large variety of physiologies based on age, gender, ethnicity, and health condition. Creation of this new PPK will be developed in a specific video later on during the tutorial. Let's stick to the compartmental model for this demonstration. On the fourth tab, you will define the kind of simulations you want to run. You can either do a single simulation representing an average profile in your population, and this is what is selected here by default. You can do a population simulation for a number of subjects that will have their own specific physiologies. And based on these physiologies, a specific profile, PK profile, will be uh, simulated. You can do a batch simulation to run simulation across multiple records at the same time. And finally, you can do a parameter sensitive analysis to study the impact of one or more parameters on the pharmacokinetic outputs. In this demonstration, we will only run a single simulation and the other settings will be the subject of following videos. To launch a simulation, simply click on the Start button. And you can see that the model is calculating PK metrics for both the observed and simulated profile here at the bottom. Here you have the calculated CMAX for both observed and simulated, AUC, and so on. Now, let's have a look at the result of our simulation in the last tab called Graph. First, you can see that the simulated profile, the line, is matching fairly well the observed data in this case. By clicking on the regional absorption button, you can have a look at where the drug is being absorbed to the GI tract, and also the total amount being absorbed. So on the left, you can see that almost 100% of the drug is being absorbed, and within this 100%, 35.5% are absorbed in the duodenum, and roughly 40% in the genome, and so on. The next information you can get directly from this tab is number of constants that are 
automatically calculated by the software. In red, you have the amount dissolved in the GI lumen. In blue, the absorbed amount into the enterocyte. In purple, the amount that is reaching the portal vein. And in green, the amount that is reaching the systemic circulation. In this case, by looking at the differences between the amount reaching the portal vein in purple and the amount reaching the systemic circulation, you can already see the impact of first pass metabolism for this drug in the liver. For more detail, the user can go to the new plot window and see the details of what is happening to the drugs from the administration to elimination how it is moving through the intestine, where it is being dissolved or absorbed, and how it, its distribution into the tissue or compartment. You can also see the contribution of different routes of elimination for the given compound. To look at this, you just click on Select Curve, and you have multiple options to choose from. This new plot capacity will be used in the future videos to look at specific tissues or specific administration. To conclude this video, the take-home messages are that GastroPlus user interface is divided in five tabs. First, the compound tab that includes the physical chemical properties of the API in vitro measurement for transporters, enzyme, and gastrointestinal permeability, also dosage form and the administration schedule. The second tab, the physiolog gut physiology tab, is where you will select the species and the GI tract state, whether fed or fasted. On the pharmacokinetic tab, you will select the model structure you want to describe your distribution or elimination, whether it's compartmental or PAPK model. Simulation tab is where you will select the type of simulation and the length of it. And finally, on the graph tab is where you will visualize your simulation results. With this, I would like to thank you for assisting to the first video of this training. Please join us for the following videos that will go into more details. And you can also find more information about the platform on our website www.simulations-plus.com. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day.